Hey, Internet people. <laughs> Uh, this is a uh, short video, as short as I can make it, because I want to cover a lot of information, so I'm going to blow through it quick. Hang in there, uh, put on your seatbelt, and uh, buckle up, and here we go. A lot of questions I've been getting about uh, Cakewalk, uh, and I think there's a lot of misinformation. Let me blow past this intro, and let's move on here. I've got a list of questions over here, so I'm just going to be reading off this and go as quickly as I can and take up as little time as possible. My first uh, thing I need to say is that the disclaimer is that I'm not associated or an employee with uh, BandLab. This is totally my doing uh, and in the effort to help uh, end some of the confusion and compile a lot of questions and answers in one place. Uh, do consider that what I'm saying is 100% accurate. That said, if I am not accurate, please make a comment down below and we can get everything straightened out for this wonderful software. But uh, first question, is this program better than my old Sonar Platinum? It is the same program. It is called an update by, K uh, by BandLab uh, because it has a couple of tweaks to it and the piano roll view has a uh, new background. It is now 64-bit. You have to have 64 bits, but realize that it is a streamlined version of Sonar Platinum, meaning it does not have all the third-party plugins that you might have collected over the years uh, through purchases and updates with the Sonar Platinum. Should I keep my version of Splat or Sonar Platinum on the computer if I download this new version? That's a huge yes, because all your third-party plugs will migrate into the new program. That said, my next question is, well, if all my VST items are not showing up in this new program when I download it and install it. Well, that's because you need to make sure the file pass in the band lab to these VST items that those are present. I'm not going to get into the details. I'm sure you guys know all how to do that. But uh, make sure that everything is pointing where it needs to be. Um, how about some of the custom interfaces that I used to have in Sonar Platinum? Will they work? Uh, you are basically given the, the main color uh, themes that came with the Mercury theme and the dark theme, the tungsten theme. I've got the Mercury version here with a couple of tweaks. If you want the new theme on your new download version, BandLab version, go to the old theme folder in Sonar, keep the same file extension, drag it into the new theme for folder, it should work. How much is this new uh, program? This is the best part. It's free. I'm not going to dwell on that. It's free. Will there be updates? Soapbox time? Yes, there will be updates, but who knows? Uh, what happens to the lifetime subscriptions uh, that you had with Sonar Platform? Uh, they're gone. Next question. Uh, will I be able to buy these third-party programs uh, like Rapture Pro? They've specifically said they own the rights to Rapture Pro, so expect to see that in the future. That's just not high in their priority list, but I do expect to see them. How do you get this program? Go to the Cakewalk forums, ask around. There's hundreds of people that will tell you how to get it. Go to uh, bandlab.com, and I'm sure you'll figure out the way how to get the program. Uh, you do want to create an account with BandLab. If you do, it's important to use your old email address that you might have used with Cakewalk as th when you create the new account then all the Cakewalk information will migrate into your BandLab account and they will have that information too. How much will the updates cost? Who knows? Next point. <laughs> I don't want to get on my soapbox. Uh, will Sonar ever be updated? That's a big no. <laughs> the program's dead. How about the the people that are now working on Bad Lab? Will they be as good as with uh, with Cakewalk? Well, soapbox time. Yes, I would hope so. But uh, do understand that some of the Cakewalk employees did migrate from Cakewalk and are now working for Band Lab. That's very good news. Okay, uh, that's all the questions I'm going to cover on this one real quick here. Uh, want to keep it short and simple but just in summary uh, I would advise downloading uh, the product right now since it is free uh, create your band lab account now while you can and make sure that you use your old email address to, that you use with uh, or the current email address that you use with cakewalk so that information uh, transforms over 
uh, I would advise doing that uh, mainly because the program may not be free forever. That's purely speculation. But, uh, you know, I, when it helps Band Lab get organized, in my opinion, uh, it's, it's, the sooner that you have the account and then it can just move forward but at any rate hopefully that helps you guys i didn't blab too much or seem overly hyper um i wanted to get out as much as i can in the shorter time possible i'm gonna let you guys go and remember if i'm incorrect comments down below will help each other out and while you're down there subscribe talk to you later guys